Okay, so um, thanks for joining you guys. I'm going to try to record this, so um, it'll be posted after the meeting as well. Um, I just wanted to go through a couple of updates, and then um, we'll have time for questions if anyone has any. Um, quickly on the timeline, the um, the only thing really that's outstanding is I have about um, 30 charity logos and blurbs and links from people. I know if you're waiting on links for your fundraising page or anything like that, um, for those of you who haven't submitted your logo and a blurb about your organization, um, please get that submitted anyway, just so we can get you posted as an official charity. We've had a lot of um, participants calling into our office asking about our charity partners, which is great. We just wanna make sure we have everybody up there um, and a little bit of information, really just like one or two sentences, um, something compelling um, if people are looking to see who they would wanna run for. Um, so again, still waiting on that for, for about 30 charities. Um, there are really only a very few people who haven't um, submitted payment who needed to prepay. I've reached out to all of you. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. We'll get you codes as soon as we get payment so you can start having people register. Um, and then let me just see. I feel like someone maybe is not muted. If you can just check and, and make sure to mute yourself, um, that would be great. Um, the next deliverable will be um, before or on October 1st. If you could please um, just submit your fundraising update of how much money you've raised so far. Uh, I know a number of you are just kind of getting started and, and still recruiting. Um, but, you know, if you just want to put a status update in there, that would be super helpful. Um, that will be every month going forward. So October 1st, the first one will be due. Then we'll have another one due by November 1st. December 1st and so on, just so we can keep track of how everyone's doing and it kind of helps keep everybody accountable and, and helps you manage your program too. Um, and then our next charity meeting is going to be on October 24th. That's gonna be um, in our office. So um, that one might be a little more difficult to do a call in for. Um, so we'll, we'll I'll maybe do a recap for anyone who can't be there. Um, but the mark your calendars, October 24th in the Conquer office. Um, we'll have all meetings will be on Wednesdays at 10 a.m., um, whether it's call-in or in the office, um, unless I let you guys know otherwise. Um, wanted to do a quick reminder of the resources page, just because um, it is a resource for you. So um, just a, a reminder to check that. Um, I know there's a problem when I send out the mass email reminders. A lot of you guys don't get them. Um, please try adding me as a contact to see if that helps. That hasn't helped for a few people. So everything is always going to be um, posted on the partner resources page. If you don't have the link bookmarked, it's on the charities tab. Click on partner resources. The password is on the right on my screen, charity team 19. Um, so I have the link to the call and then the, the action items that are due for those of you who haven't submitted your logo. Here's the link to do it um, where you can upload your logo and put your information and then here's the link to the fundraising update as well so if you could please do that that would be amazing um, i have the charity registration link here um, there is a small change to that so um, i want to apologize that there's a change um, already but what we thought was that we could restrict the number of charity challenge entries um, per team on active and it turns out you can set limits on the number of entries per team, but it's only um, an overall total. So starting tomorrow, um, when you go to register, if you click on the registration button, so here's the bit.ly link to it. If you go to the, the reg charity registration, currently it shows up for you to select Marathon Charity Challenge or LA Big 5K. We are going to hide that charity challenge option because we are unable to limit the number of people who register for the charity challenge. We need to limit that. So for those of you who were involved last year, similar to last year, you will have a unique link for your charity challenge entries, and there will be a limit to the number of uses, the number of times that link can be used. So for those of you who have one charity challenge entry, you will get a link to the charity challenge um, with one entry. For those of you who have 20 charity challenge entries, you'll get a link with 20 uses on it. And that link is going to work similar to your comp code. So they won't need to enter a comp, a comp code anymore. Um, 
I'm going to send out an email. Everyone who has charity challenge email, Charity Challenge entries will get an email from me today with your new link. You will then have two links. You'll have the regular registration link that's open to the public that shows the option to register for the marathon or the LA Big 5K. And then I will email you with a unique charity link that's going to be specific to your charity and the number of Charity Challenge entries you have. So hopefully that makes sense. We will open that up to questions um, in a couple minutes too, so we can talk through it if anybody's confused. Um, really quick on active, I don't know if any of you have used this yet, but you, if you go to myevents.active.com, um, you can leave on or off the Conquer Endurance Group. That just kind of helps drive it right to you. If you have more than, if you have more than one registration on active, if you've registered for other events, it might show you everything. But this one will um, let you see your team center. And from here, it shows you everybody who registered for your team and their email address. Um, it does not show you complete registration information. So Active is going to email those reports every two weeks. Um, they're gonna try to have that set up and ready for this coming Monday. So um, if they can't do it in time, it's gonna be every other Monday. So if it doesn't happen this Monday, it will be the following Monday where each charity manager will um, receive an email with their full registration data. So if you don't have anybody signed up, there won't be anyone in the report yet, but as you get people to register, it's gonna give you all of their information. So their t-shirt size, their address. Um, right now, when you go online and manage things online, you can only see name and email. So you can access that at any time, and then every two weeks, you will be emailed full registration information. Um, we can adjust that if we need to. Um, as, as time goes on. So it gets, if it gets closer to the race, if you need that information more quickly, you can. Um, and then let me just, I'm gonna try to mute somebody here who's not muted. Um, I'm kind of going through this, you guys, but if anybody, if you are listening and you know you're not muted, would you mind muting just because there's a lot of feedback on my end? Okay. Think that we're good. Um, so let's see. Um, okay, so for our meeting on October 24th, um, there is a charity consultant named Stacy Brown who is going to come in and kind of lead our charity meeting. So I'll just kind of do the general updates and recap of where things stand. Um, and Stacy is um, based in Arizona, but she's going to fly in for our meeting and um, and kind of lead the meeting and, and provide as much feedback and advice as she can. So um, Stacy was with team and training for a number of years and then moved to um, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and really built out their endurance program and took it from, from scratch to $30 million. So she really has um, worked on all sides of, of fundraising from kind of really um, being out there and recruiting to overseeing um, bigger programs. So. I think that she is gonna provide a lot of value. That is the goal for the next meeting. Um, online, I have set up that fundraising update form where you just go and you click on the link and you en enter how much you fundraised to this point. Um, Stacy sent me two questions that I just put on that form. So don't feel like you need to fill them out, but she had two questions that she wanted, she was hoping um, some of you would answer just to give her some kind of ideas of how she's gonna lead that meeting. So when you fill out your fundraising update, if there's some things that would be helpful, feel free to enter that in the comments or answer those questions that are posted on there um, just to kind of help her work through how she's going to um, present and work with, work with our group next week, or <laughs> next month, sorry. Um, and the last update, a lot of you know Justin Kerner was our ambassador um, for the charity program and kind of for the overall marathon. He helped kick off our race last year. Um, he is coming back. I believe his wife is running the marathon and um, Albert Pohlholtz from the Anaheim um, Angels is going to be um, kind of co-hosting with him. So we're super excited to have them both on board. They're both going to be charity partners and recruiting runners for their foundations as well. Um, so that, so they will both be involved and both um, kicking off the, the marathon race morning 
Um, and it turns out there is actually a, a Dodgers Angels game the night of the marathon at Dodger Stadium. So they will both be playing that night as well. Um, so that is pretty much everything, you guys. If anybody has questions, um, we can unmute and, and fire away. Anyone? Hi, this is Yvette from North Valley Caring Services. Hi, Yvette. How are you? Good. I have a quick question. So um, what is the deadline if we want to um, request 5K entries and the charity challenge entries? So charity challenge is fully committed to. Um, so that is full. I forget right now. I know I have a commitment statement from you guys, so I can't remember off the top of my head if you've already se um, selected those or not. Um, we but, have it, just the 15 marathon entries. Okay, so basically, yeah, all of the 1,100 spots, we have the 1,100 max. Those are committed to, um, you know, I know that last year towards the end of the, like as we got closer to the event, there were some spots that weren't, charities weren't able to fill so i you know there's always a chance that that's going to happen again but that doesn't usually happen until you know we get closer to the race so um i just had one request for additional ones i'm just going to start a list if you want if there if you want um extra entries let me know i'll just kind of keep track of that so if there are charities who weren't able to fill those spots i can kind of let people know in the order order that i receive requests okay Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and for the 5K, just as an update too, um, we got a registration report and that is trending, that's trending um, a lot, a lot higher than it was last year. So I know we sold out a few weeks before the race. Um, the way things are going, we'll probably sell out faster this year. So I will just keep everybody updated. You know, the 5K, if you're not prepaying, you can just have people go in and join uh, register and pay and join your join your team um, as long as you you know if you've committed to those 15 entry 15 marathon entries you can still join the 5k and um, on top of those 15 entries if that makes sense and then um, if you think you're going to have 5k entries we just want to make sure to get everybody signed up um, at least a month out probably this year okay thank you yeah sure thing Was there uh, someone Melissa? else? Yeah. Hi. Melissa, this is Chris Martin with Green to Kids. Hi, Chris. And can I assume that I didn't submit my uh, web page uh, entry if I don't find it on the LA Marathon site? Yes. I yes. If you think you did, let me double check. But Alex is is building that out. So anybody who submitted it to the form through that online link. Um, should definitely be on there. And then I know a bunch of people emailed me directly and I emailed those all to him too. So probably if you don't mind submitting that, I'm guessing you probably didn't. Okay. Unless I missed it. Okay. Well, Thanks, Chris. It's the same one as we've had for the past four years. So I'll just um, find it and send it again. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And if you just do like a, a sentence or two that just gives a um, good description of of reading to kids just so people know if they're looking, you know, what you guys are about. Got it. Okay, okay great. Thanks. Good thing. Anyone else? Um, I, I Sorry. Want to, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Melissa. I just want to ask really quick. The minimum for the charity challenge, the goal would be 650 like the marathon? Oh yeah, that's exactly the same as the marathon. Uh huh. Great, thank you. Sure, and I was going to say too, um, Alec, we're we're trying to make the, the the way the charities are displayed on our official charity page a lot more kind of prominent than they were last year. That's why we're putting the description so on someone because we really are getting a lot of calls asking about our charity partners. So we want people to be able to go to that page, um, and and learn more about your organizations we are still getting those links updated. So um, we had little logos made for to link to your, um, your page on your website that tells about the charity program and then your fundraising page where people can donate or create a fundraising page to raise money. 
Um, and then we also are still in the process of adding a little logo that shows who has charity challenge entries um, as well, because that's a call that we get um, also, which asking which charities have charity challenge entries. So we're gonna be um, updating that hopefully really soon. Hi, Melissa. Hi, yeah. Hi, this is Willie from American Indian Community Council. Hi, Hi quick question. Um, so we signed up for the charity challenge and we had 15 spots and we paid for it. Um, I have some people asking about us um, doing the marathon part. Are there open spots for the marathon at all or how does that work? Yes. Oh, marathon. Yeah, for sure. You can add on the marathon. You'll be able to add on spots pretty much at any point. If that would get close to a sellout, I would let everybody know, but you can definitely add those on. Okay, great. Thank you. Sure thing. And I, I wanted to ask Melissa, the, the 15 marathon entries, I know we have to prepay those. Um, did I miss the deadline for that oh, to make yeah. send the payment? Yeah. And you know what, if I, I emailed you, I just was wondering if we're having that email issue again. Um, I think we are because I emailed you yesterday too and, and some people are telling me my emails are going to spam so okay no I got your email and I replied so that's so oh, let's, yeah please. so no, we're I didn't get it. Having problems yeah okay <laughs> okay thank you I'll give you a call and we can just catch up but yeah okay. thank, thank you. you you're you're one of the very few that I've reached out to so I'm glad you are on this call thank you thank you yeah Okay, hey guys, anyone else? Awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Um, you, you guys know where to find me. And um, hopefully you can make it. We'll do an RSVP for October 24th. Um, and I'll have that on the partner resources page. But just again, partner resources. You can po put your update in of how much has been raised so far. You can answer those couple of questions about what you would like Stacy to talk to it, uh, talk about at our next meeting. And um, hopefully I will see most of you on October 24th. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.